Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Grave Jungle. Not really sure about what the Tristana is doing, but um... Anyway. Shall be okay. I'm actually going to smite the red buff here. Since the uh, leash is not that good. Now we'll allow my Nami to get the lane too, since Shisana is probably gonna hit the wave before Nami gets there and, and Nami doesn't get XP. Really terrible stuff for my teammates, um, and also me, so. Oh, this might actually be quite a good game to showcase because this is probably something that happens relatively often in lower ranks. A lot of my coaching clients and a lot of you viewers in general will probably be, you know, experiencing similar things. So we'll be able to potentially showcase how you can go about coming back from you know a bad start. It's not a terrible start, but it's like a uh, it's a tiny bad start if that makes sense. But it's not like bad. Like my whole team just ran it down mid, or all died to like an invade or something crazy. Also, we're on patch 13.1b, uh, so we're going to be testing out uh, new item changes a little bit. I'll be giving my thoughts about it, um, and you'll also be seeing, you know, why I potentially build this game. I'm going to go Wolves into Grump here instead of the blue buff. Now, maybe we should not be able to get any gank off here, I don't think. Oh my. Where are the yes to a come on. That was an absolutely atrocious play. I'm gonna go invade and move on his red effect. It's the only thing I can do here. The Sandra has no TP, so I do I don't have prior, but I am kind of in an okay spot to do this. It's not the best spot. Alright, we're killing the Amumu there. We didn't get the red unfortunately, but we did get the Amumu kill straight away, and then that also does mean we get a refresh on the red buff, actual buff component, but we didn't get the gold, which look would have been much nicer to also get that gold there. Getting the gold is pretty important. Uh gold next P part of me. So it is a shame. Now we took the scuttle crab and I was gonna look for a top lane gank. We do still see the potential for this top lane gank. I will look for it. Okay, I think Tribush is watered. I'm still gonna look for that top lane play, by the way, guys. I'm just doing this uh in the meantime, which might make him kind of forget about the fact that I'm here ready to get him. It's okay. Not the best, but not the worst. Execution is fine. In game, League of Legends. Of course. An ally has been slain. Maybe with the block gank. Maybe two kills there, actually. Okay, just starting out with the jump out. Nice. So I'm going to run to my Krugs here. Go Krugs into Raptors. Let's say Mumu took the bot side Scuttle Crab. Completely fine. Also, guys, as always, if you like the content, it really helps me out if you can comment, like, subscribe. All these functions really help out with the YouTube algorithm and push these videos out to more people. And also, if you've enjoyed the content, it also means that you're more likely to see it in the future, which is both beneficial for me and you. Furthermore, um, a lot of people ask about coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching specifically. I have a one-on-one... -on -one coaching site where you can book coaching sessions there and it'll help you improve basically in all areas of League of Legends primarily a jungle coach though so my recommendation is you know um utilize this if you're a jungler more so than anything else that being said I'm more than capable of coaching other roles and uh, I do enjoy coaching other roles and playing other roles myself all right nice got that wrapped there up over the wall and we're gonna do the drag here now, I'm not a huge fan of Deck Early Dragons, but I just think it's good this game. I think I can sneak it. I think Amumu is most likely on his... Oh, he's bot. Really? Who drink down there, bro? I'm gonna drop the pink ward here in case it was watered.
excellent. Got a kill, got a dragon, and then we're gonna move over towards cheeky little blue buff play. Umu will be coming here. Hopefully these guys are not trying to actually take the blue. Nice. Alright. Looks like they had that watered. Alright, so now I'm gonna drop back and take my red buff. Uh, we see Lissandra is super low, but... It's a pretty hard game to pull off. Now she's got no ult though. That's uh, definitely looking a little bit more viable. 360 health. You can look at my ult. It's not quite going to kill. My ult would need to be about 450 to get that kill. So obviously got to account for armor also. You can see that Amumu though is ganking the Yasuo and I would like a little bit of this action. Personally. Okay. I think Amumu is going back over there. Now, I don't think my Yasuo should be hovering on uh, top side of the lane, but it's okay. Push the wave, bro. Brother Yasuo. Unfortunate circumstances. I think that uh, we should have been able to push that out sooner and get in there and kill that uh, Lissandra before she's just able to E away. And because the set is actually moving down past the red buff, I can't really go for the invade on the red. That's why I didn't opt to go into top side and I opted to go into bot side. So what I'll do here is take my bot side camps, potentially look for some kind of play on the bot laners, or I'll look for my reset here. Now this game, I'm going to be going a different build to what you guys normally see. I'll be going Yomus. So not actually the Umbral Glaive here, but the Yomus. We do have Yomus gold now, but we can also potentially look for the gank if it does show itself. Oh, Mumu didn't go for his uh, camp. Just using my ult there to get distance. Alright, nice Tristana healed. I'm not sure what Tristana's doing. I don't think she's uh really thinking this through. Okay, Nami with another kill. It's actually good that Jinx did that because now she should die here. And I actually want to chaos this just to make sure that I get it. So I'm just holding the Q there for a second. Go for Q auto. Nami got two kills there. It's okay. I don't really particularly want to put kills onto the Tristana because I don't think she's playing very well. So I'm more happy to take that gold myself, actually. We'll quickly pick the Gromp here and then let's look for the base. Quite a few flashes used in that last fight, I believe all three with the flash. And right now we're picking up the Yomus and we're just going to wait the tiniest bit of gold here for a pink board. And now we're off to the races. Uh, Harold play by them. I think that's um, mostly due to the set. I don't think Mumu was there soon enough to really impact that a lot himself, but yeah, that's what it is. I'm actually looking to try and get here as quickly as possible. I can't do a hell of a lot here. Getting something now, though. I'm also going to be able to get a Mumu's red buff here. I get a Mumu's everything, actually. Unfortunately for him. So I'm going to go to a Mumu's Raptors, and then we know his red buff is also up, so we'll rotate around. Pick up the red buff also. Excellent stop. We also have time to actually rotate over and take the Krogs, too. Now this game, based on enemy team comp, I'm probably going to be looking for uh, Merc Treads. Just want to kite this guy here. I 
Excellent stuff. Taking him out of the game. Oh, I'm moving. Hello, hello, little bro. Okay, nice. He uh, fucked up there and dropped the Herald. You can see we're actually mech maxing on him pretty heavily here. With the uh, Q dodges and such. And he died there for throwing a uh, bandage toss. It's a mistake by him for sure. Um, but also a common mistake you guys will see people make. Now I'm going to quickly start hitting this tower a little bit here. And then I'm going to reset so that I get two plates worth of gold. So I'm going to reset now. I'm going to take that extra bit of gold from the plates. Um, I feel as though I'm pretty happy to tax a little bit here. I'm going to take the base. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, enemy team comp, right? We're going to need the... <clears throat> Pardon me, what is it called? Merc treads. Now, next thing I'm going to need is probably arm pen, right? Because enemy team, they got a lot of armor and a lot more armor coming up. And they're also going to have a lot of health. You can see the items they're building. So we're going to be going LDR, a little dumbest regards. And then next item will most likely be going is Infinity Edge. That'll give us 40% crit. Also, Infinity Edge will be unlocked at that point in time for us to get maximum value out of it. And we'll basically have all the stats that we need here. The yo moves for the early game power spike, also helping us get to fights faster with the move speed. It's a little bit of a tempo advantage. Merc treads to help with more tempo with move speed and also magic resist for their magic damage champions and tenacity. And then IE for more damage. And we're in a good spot. After that, though, we'll be able to situationally go whichever mythic we want. Now, I think there's a lot of options. You could go Gale Force if you wanted that move speed or the ability to dodge something extra with the Gale Force active. I don't think that's super needed on Graves, but it's possible. And also, you could go Shield Bow. And these would be the options if you wanted more crit. But you don't necessarily need to get more crit. Other options, you can go with defensive items like... You know, potentially Iceborne Gauntlet is a nice item that's very good when you need extra armor and tenacity. Also has a Sheen proc, um, which, you know, some people like a little bit on Graves. I'm not a big, um, you know, advisor of Sheen proc on Graves, but some people love it. I think Sheen proc is not that good on Graves, personally. I should just put that out there. But I do think Iceborne Gauntlet can be good. Need to cut here a little bit. Excellent. Also, there's like the option to go Jack Show, guys. I'm not the uh, biggest fan of Jack Show anymore. It was good for a period of time. I think now it's uh, a little bit overshadowed by other items. So when I normally go for Shield Bow is when I need that little bit of extra health. Say they can like 100 to zero me or 75 to zero me. I can't find that useful then. So it's like 75, 70 health to zero just for people who aren't maybe familiar with the terminology. I also am a pretty big fan of Bloodthirst at the moment. This game though specifically, I'm not opting for the Bloodthirster because I needed that arm pen. But say I didn't need the arm pen here, I would have probably looked for the Bloodthirster. Excellent stuff there. Janet chucking a NATO at me. We can see the Amumu is topside right now. Ah, yes, we're getting that kill. We should 100% go for this. I actually think that Nami shouldn't use any abilities on the Yas there because he is just not that useful, unfortunately. I need to dodge this guy's W here. Now we're gonna move on through and where is that little Amumu at? Quickly check around. Alright. Oh, his camps are actually just spawning now. So I'm gonna pick up Amumu's camps here and then I'm going to potentially look for that Herald. In a pretty good spot right now.
Alright, Harold being harvested. Boom, boom, boom. Now we might dip down just quickly, clear our quadrant. We don't need to do this, but I just think there's nothing else that is going to happen right now. And so I would like to just do that and uh, have these camps off the map for when I respawn. It's not really getting me anything extra, I don't think, in terms of items and tempo. But what it will do is mean that I can just come out of base and play entirely for bot side of the map and play around that dragon that's going to be spawning. So we're going to pick up the LDR here and then we're going to start building towards that infinity edge. Boom. And as you guys can see, it's not actually a useful um, gold mana because it's not getting me to that 600 that I would need for the other components. Now, one could argue you could sit on maybe a uh, no mantle there or potentially, I don't know, maybe a longsword. I'm not a huge fan of that uh, dealing that IE power spike. But, you know, if you deadly, if you like really needed that, otherwise you might die, then it's definitely worth it, right? Except there's like a death risk. Oh my god. They have all their old still, man. That is crazy ridiculous. So right there they had um Lissandra ult and set ult still. Really, really unfortunate for me. Really think my teammates kind of let down that play a lot. Um, dying beforehand. I'm not going to rush this fight. I don't think there's any need to. I think the fight is basically over. Okay, interesting. Uh, actually, a little bit more action here happened than I had expected. I'm going to drop the Herald. I think that we'll be able to actually utilize this Herald here to take uh, maybe two towers or something. I mean, Tristana getting both those kills there. Pretty sad for me. Um, it is what it is. Yeah, like I said earlier, I do want to try and avoid giving Tristana too much gold. No, anyway, folks, I'm actually going to look to try and push the end here. If you guys like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm a bunch. Also, if you want to leave any comments, that's also, again, really good for the algorithm. Yasuo is going underneath the tower. Ah, oh, the Janna with the shield and the ulti there. Dodge the Amumu. Excellent. Um, what else do I need to say, guys? Oh, if you want to see these games, but in high elo, I have all my high elo content behind my membership area. So if you'd like to join as a member, support the channel, and also catch that high elo content, you can do so there. Otherwise, folks, take care. Have a good day.